Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and it's three phones lying flat on the table so it's time for some benchmarking. We've got the Evo on the left, the new Droid X in the middle, and the Nexus One with the latest build of Froyo, that's FRF83, on the right. So let's start off with the old Linpack test. This tests processing power. The results we get are in MFLOPs, which is million floating operation points, whatever, a second. So higher is better. Now you see on the Evo, we've got five and change, the Droid X 8.1, and the Nexus One with Froyo 34.9. That's Android 2.2 and the just-in-time compiler that really give it that higher score. I can't wait to get it on other phones. So pretty much seeing the same scores on the Evo and the uh, Droid X, they're staying consistent, about five and seven to eight and Froyo is just much much faster so I really just I want to get that on more phones now let's check out Quadrant this is that one that popped up a while ago and then mysteriously had the Motorola Shadow listed on it so we've all been running it and I still don't entirely know what it's testing it just gives you a big fat number and kind of compares phones at the end so we will compare the numbers here right because we've done it on all the others so let's take a look See, the Nexus One actually runs through everything much faster, too. That's just another example of how Froyo and the JIT speed things up. Through everyday operation with the uh, Droid, between the Droid and the Nexus so far, uh, the Droid X is just plenty fast. It really does fly thanks to that 1 GHz OMAP processor. And having a separate GPU absolutely helps. Look how smooth the video is there. It says 27, there we go, 60 frames per second. Um, and we'll see some more demos here in a second. But the video on the Droid X is just really smooth, especially when you look at it compared to the Evo there. And even uh, compared to the Nexus One, we'll see some more of that in a second. So, all right, the Nexus One's done, and 1304 is its score. You see it compared to the Nexus One with 2.2 up top. There's that Moto Shadow again in the Galaxy S. Let's see, the Droid X, 1131, so not bad. And that's without Froyo. That's without Android 2.2. Be curious to see how that score goes up and see the poor little Evo 419. Something's up with the Evo. Uh, you know, go figure. All right, so let's go try another one. This is a little gears app, and all this does is spin some gears and show you frames per second. I know everybody's all upset because the Evo caps out at 30. There's the Nexus One doing just fine, and there's the Evo stuck at 30 frames per second. And now let's try the Droid X. Bingo, 60. No problems there whatsoever. All right, let's get out of that and do one more test. There's an OpenGL test called a Nina Mark that I use. And we'll turn a couple of these around here. Uh, I'll try to start these two about the same time. And the Evo, look, the Evo's gonna be slower. I think we all know that by now. And just watch how much smoother the video is up top there on the Droid X. Really so much better compared to the Evo in the, uh, in the Nexus One. Little hiccups every now and then, but absolutely better. So if you just want to, you know, put the three side by side and compare them that way. Don't even worry about numbers. We'll get a number here at the end, but just look at the video. And the Droid X certainly wins out here. Just about done. And 22.9, okay. 11.3 on the Nexus with uh, Froyo and the JIT. And 10.3 on the Evo 4G. So there you go, everybody. There's a benchmark test between the Droid X, the Nexus One, and the Evo 4G. We'll see you later.